محمد شرحبيل طفل جزائري بات يصنف ضمن قائمة المؤثرين على مواقع التواصل محمد يونس شرحبيل طفل جزائري ناشط على مواقع محمد صباح الخير صباح النور هلو السلام عليكم هلو هاو ار يو هوب يو ار دوينغ ويل ايم محمد توكس اور محمد يونس شرحبيل Hi guys, salam everyone. Welcome back again to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna make some amazing, totally different from before. I'm gonna talk with the most amazing kid, which come from Algeria. His name is Mohammed. I know him from my friends, which is come from Algeria, and I saw many videos of him, which is just totally so awesome. So, let's just start it. Okay, thank you. So much okay so the first i'm so excited to have this video call with you i am from indonesia and i watch uh, some of your video and it and it just makes me like dang this kid is so amazing you are so good mashallah and then one of my friends uh, introduced me to you and this is such an honor for me for you for me to talk with you and to share some beautiful words from you to people who watch this video. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, it's so, an honor to, uh, mm -hmm. It's an honor to be here. Okay, you're welcome. So, okay, so uh, let's jump to the first things. Uh, can you please to introduce yourself to the people who watch this video? Okay, so if you don't know me, I'm Muhammad Yunus Al Habil from Algeria, exactly from like Msida. I'm a motivational speaker, and on social media, I'm known as Muhammad Talks. Uh, yeah, so I just basically I motivate the people of Algeria, and also mainly why who I want to motivate is the world. I just you know I got the idea since COVID came in, and uh, lots of people are getting really sad and everything, so I thought. Why not be positive in a desperate time like this? So, uh, yeah, I really just started it then. And, uh, yeah, I'm going through the uh, process of learning and improving. Okay. That's really amazing. I'm so excited to see when you're talking. Okay, so probably you've heard this question many times. And I really wonder what age did you start to... Uh, speaking English very well, and how can you start it? So, at the age of five, I started English speaking English very well because I learned it at the age of five. And since you know, a kid's brain is very light and it could hold up anything very fast, uh, yeah, my mom taught me it within about like um, a couple of days, maybe even a month. And it was very, very easy. So, uh, once you have a little child, just go on YouTube and search. How to teach English for kids, and uh, you'll get a bunch of and a bunch of bunch of videos that will help you improve your English if you know it, and that will help you also like teach your child English. Okay, so it means a whole of your family talk in English very well. Not all of it, but listen, me, my sisters. Uh, my little brother's learning it. My little sister that's younger than me speaks it very well. And the uh, the one that's younger than her is improving. And my little brother's... Oh, okay. Okay, that's really nice. And then the next question is, do you know other language? Yeah, I know Do you French. speak other language? I speak French, Arabic, and English. Oh, because French is the first uh, language in Algeria, right? No, no, no. it's the second language. Oh, the second language. In Algeria, the first language uh, actually, is... it's Arabic. Oh, that's Arabic. Okay, my bad. I'm so sorry. And then uh, the next question is, who is encourage you except your parents? Or is there any person that makes you motivate yourself to keep learning to be more positive like this? Um, I have like a pro. It's not the person who motivates me, but it's a person that I look up to, and I think I uh, I like the way they think. It's Brian Tracy. He's my favorite person, and he's a really great dude. He helped. Uh, he like wrote amazing books and everything. So he's not a motivational speaker or a source of motivation, but he is a cool person that you can listen to for life ideas. 
for life ideas. Okay, that's great. And then, can you please, would you please to tell to the people who watch this video, especially for the young generations who maybe really want to learn English from the beginning like you? They should. You have to want to learn English. To learn it. But if you don't want to do something, obviously not going to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab probably a notebook or a piece of paper, or if you're small, you know, your parents, mm -hmm. just tell them, I want to learn English. And you have to actually want to. And you don't have to. There are other people. But in this world, English is like the well-known language and everywhere. So wherever right. you go, English follows. So basically... You, ha you have to learn English, but if you don't want, you know, you can be an artist, you can be a physics scientist, you can be whatever you want. But learning English is kind of getting more and more essential throughout the years. That's why I advise you to learn English very fast now, so you don't have a problem uh, when you grow up. Okay, so people usually, I live in Indonesia, which English is not the first or the second language that we talk and then most of the people even on my age my friends really scared to talk in English because they're scared they not understand the grammar what do you think about it I mean if you learn English in an ordinary I nobody learns English like I gotta know the grammar by heart I gotta know the vocabulary by heart I gotta know the words by heart I gotta know the verbs I gotta know the nouns no you learn English normally. Vocabulary comes from reading books and listening or even writing. So, like, whenever you listen, you read, you write, you get more vocabulary and it's easier to use it. And grammar comes along with it, too. Okay. I really like the way you say it. Great. <laughs> Again, the next, uh, how do you keep the positive energy and how for you to stay motivated on this on this time, I mean, like, this is the COVID thing, and then how can you keep positive? So, honestly, the reason why I love being positive is because positivity is the only thing, the only thing, that can show you the way to success. There hasn't been a single scientist that was like, I can't do this, and then made it. There have been scientists that were like, I can't do this, but then they were motivated and they said, I can do this. People failed like 900 times, people failed like billions of times, and they still continued. Why? Because they were motivated. They knew why they were doing it. One of the ways to stay motivated is going back to why you are doing this. Okay, so it start what, why you are doing that. If you are not really sure, then it's just gonna have a lot of impact at the end, right? Yeah. Okay, so the next question is, what is your future goals? So I barely have any right now, but my main future goal is to be a physics scientist and to, um, well, change the world, I guess. What kind of change the world that you want to do? To, like, I want to change the world, like, academically and, like, the way we learn. And there's lots of many, many ways. Um, maybe we could even go live in Mars. <laughs> <laughs> that was really amazing. Oh, my God. Okay, I think this is going to be uh, the last questions. I'm so sad that I have to not talk with you anymore because I hate to say the thing. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so excited. I'm so amazed. MashaAllah. Okay. Uh, what is your message to the people, maybe who people uh, from Indonesia or maybe in Algeria and Morocco and everywhere who watch this video? What is your message to them to keep spirit? All I want to say to you is that no matter where you go, you have to let positivity follow. How? Well, basically, you've got to be positive. Have that positive energy in you. Because if you are positive, you give out positive energy to the people that need it. You give out positive energy to the people that don't need it. And you give out positive energy. Because somebody who's good, if you're a good human, doing all the good things, like 
uh, doing what you need to do, not littering, being a good person, doing whatever you need. So basically, when you do whatever you need, let positivity follow you. And you let positivity follow, you're like, man, I'll be the best. Your environment will be exactly like you. Your environment will be more or so positive. And if you're positive, the people around you are positive, and the people around them are positive, and it starts just basically by you. And from you, it goes to them, and from them, it goes to the country, but from the country, the state, the state, maybe the world, and the world, maybe just everywhere. So basically, just think positively, and positive will follow. Oh my God. God, that was really amazing. Mohammed, thank you so much. I really wish that one day I can meet you. Wow, you are so amazing. Mashallah. Oh, uh, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed this. This is really cool. And uh, I'll see you any other time. Yeah, sure. I would like to make a contact later with you uh, when I have some more serious conversations because you are so amazing thank you so much muhammad say salam to your parents say salam to everyone around you have a great day salam